So I tried to put together this presentation with audience in mind, thinking if I'm there, you know, is this guy going to go on for 10 minutes or is this going to be really valuable for me? So I wanted to cut to the chase really quickly. Let's go to the next slide. All right. So what is the ambition and who is it for? Ambition, sales coaching, gamification platform built for metric driven teams. Our customers are the ones that see success. They, they tend to have a more transactional sales cycle, uh, typically around 90 days or less. They're also teams that believe in leading indicators as a ways of driving an end result, pipeline, revenue, et cetera. Um, these companies are starting to prioritize a lot of projects on KPI expectations, rep accountability, scaling coaching process, or prioritizing recognition and performance on uh, ways to motivate, boost, celebrate invisible wins that just aren't getting recognized. And especially now that teams are starting to shift remote uh, we're seeing customers look for ways to recreate a lot of energy that used to be on their sales floor. So next slide. So let's think about uh, 2020 as a, another way to frame this up. So you all probably came out of your sales kickoff in January um, with a really kick-ass plan, probably going to take down the year. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, mid-March, COVID happened, turned everything upside down. Um, so that's exactly why Ambition was built. We were built for those types of speed bumps, for ways to keep your teams aligned against business objectives like taking down revenue. And then when things go sideways, maybe not as dramatically as COVID to help you get back on track against those critical goals. This would be things like running a contest, creating role-based scorecards, or having coaching plans or programs um, to keep reps accountable. Let's go to next slide. I have a customer example that we can talk through on this. All right. So maybe staying a little bit more with the COVID theme slash 2020. Uh, one of our customers recently, Highspot, uh, came on board. They came on right as COVID hit. So they started to shift from traditionally in an office to a remote work environment. Um, making this shift, they also launched a sales-wide team initiative on visibility to KPIs. So added emphasis to top of the funnel performance. We really wanted a clear way to know who's doing what and whether or not you had a good day. So um, trying to keep the team engaged and motivated, uh, they wanted some creative ways to do this with contests because uh, reps that are more engaged and motivated, they're mo more productive, they're happy, there's a greater chance that they're gonna make uh, a lot of contribution to uh, the pipeline. So they chose Ambition for this project. Um, next slide. And they took a few advantage of a few capabilities of ambition to make this happen. So immediately they started to launch scorecards for their most critical top of funnel KPIs, things like dials, personalized activities, conversations, sequence activities, meeting set, qualified pipeline. They also started to launch a lot of contests to make things fun. Think of just like variations on call blitzes, team versus team pipeline gen contests where they're attributing points based on performance over the course of a week or a month. Uh, lastly, all of this, of course, led to some sort of result to keep them going through COVID. You can see it here. They started to see uh, week over week lifts in a lot of their top of funnel core KPIs. Importantly, lifts that attributed to pipeline movement, things like activities, meeting scheduled, and qualified pipeline. Okay, last slide. All right, so no baby. I got done with this pretty quickly. Uh, as I was hoping to. Uh, but that being said, this is interesting. If this is top of mind, something you want to learn more about, I think this will be a handout afterwards. I know we have a bunch of our marketing team on the Slack channel in MSP at our, um, our personal Slack sponsorship there. If you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, I'm happy to continue the conversation. Um, otherwise, I would encourage you to stick around. There is a data-driven leadership panel next. One of our customers, Chris from ADP, will be there. He can give you a lot of good examples, I'm sure, um, just in general on that topic, but as well as how they're using uh, Ambition to do a lot of the things that we just ran through. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Colin. That was, that was record time. Most sponsors uh, go over in their open mic slot. Trying to keep it tight. I know if I was in the audience, I would want, want it uh, as tight as possible. So thanks so much. Right. I appreciate that. And it's been a blast working with the Ambition team. And as Colin mentioned, check them out in the, uh, the sponsor Slack channel. 
And also we've done some great events with them in the past. We've got some good recordings and they're a phenomenal team. So do check them out if you're, um, if you're keen for this.